this video, I'm going to show you fifth dimensional secrets that will change your life. These are things about reality that a lot of people aren't aware of, but will be coming more aware of as time goes on, and I will share them with you. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. Now, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you that of fifth dimensional secrets of our reality, understanding how our reality works in different dimensional states of consciousness. Because right now on the planet, I believe that we are going through a shift in consciousness. It's something that's been happening for a while now. It's something that will continue to happen. But what you may notice happen is a lot of the older ways of going about things, the old mentalities, that doesn't work anymore. If you look around at like the way a lot of businesses used to do things, um, like as time goes on, I don't think that companies like Coca-Cola or McDonald's, I don't think that they're necessarily going to continue to do that well unless they put in a, a pure, a more pure intention. So the idea is that you'll notice that a lot of things are coming out about different companies about different leaders of different companies. A lot of these things are coming out because it's the time of awareness and it's a time of, um, it's like things, things aren't hidden, you know? And I feel like as time goes on, if there's companies that have impure intentions, it's just gonna be brought to the surface more and more and people aren't going to engage with them unless it is something that is more in alignment with the new energy, with the way that things are moving in the direction of. So right now on the planet, something else that's happening is the old stuff is falling away. It's a part of the process. It's like building a sandcastle. You have to clear the ground, the old sandcastle, before you can build up the new one. The old stuff is falling away. The old paradigms are falling away. The old power dynamics are falling away. Even when I had my old job like three years ago, like the last year I was there, I was seeing that the old ways of going about things where there was like this big dictatorship, it's not, it doesn't work anymore. It wasn't, it was starting to fall apart. It was like people, it was just a, a different paradigm. Now when I talk about fifth dimensional secrets of our reality, the other thing that makes me understand more or allows me to understand more about this time that we're in is if you've ever read the books by Dolores Cannon, which is, uh, people are in what are called, uh, it's QHHT, Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. People are in a deep level of hypnosis and their subconscious mind what happens is information comes through and you can ask questions like, why did you incarnate at this time? What is your purpose in life? And what many, many people say all over the world that have been in this deep hypnotic state that didn't know each other because Doris Cannon was doing this back in the 60s and the 70s, is I came here to be part of the shift. I came here to be part of this transition. I came here for this ascension. And when we talk about it, first off, ascension, it doesn't mean leave body or like some rapture thing. That's like an outdated way of, of, um, of looking at it. Something we're doing in body. We're raising the vibratory signature of our body and we're starting to perceive of a reality that is different than the way we may have been taught our whole entire lives. Where we've been really emphasized in the 3D ego. So it's more about understanding, let's first off understand a little bit more about the dimensions before I get into the secrets, just so that we're all on the same page here. The third dimension is the dimension or the reality of duality. The reality of duality, I like that. The reality, I, mean, I don't like it, but you know what I mean. I like the phrases. The reality of duality. So it's like good, bad, light, dark. Third dimension is also very connected to control controlling, there's been a certain level of control on the planet of information for a long time. And 3D reality is an emphasis of that. We were all born into a 3D level of consciousness where we forgot who we are. It's one of the rules when you come here on earth, you forget who you are. Well, I don't know if it's definitely a rule. Yeah, it is kind of, it's like part of the game. And then what happens is, um, there's that 3D level of consciousness where we're completely unaware of who we are, where we're out for ourselves, and in a way we are doing everything we can to kind of emphasize the ego. Fourth dimension, 4D reality, could be considered that of time. Reality becomes much more flexible. There still a per can be a perception of good or bad. However, it's not, as, uh, it's not as dualist, it's not as polarized. And in 4D reality, 
it's like more about vibration. It's more about vibrational resonance. And we, I believe right now, are teetering in between that of three, four, and 5D reality. 5D reality is more of a connection to the heart. It's more of an awareness that we're all connected. And because we're all connected, what I put out is what I get back. What I put out and do to you, I do to other aspects of myself and vice versa. We're all connected. We're all other versions of ourselves. So 5D reality is that awareness and that putting out of good. Um, so there's certain ways of of, uh, of hacking it, but it's almost, it's almost becomes a very divine like existence. And I believe that we're all divine beings who've forgotten that. So when we're talking about fifth dimensional secrets, I want to share this one with you that I thought of a couple days ago that I, that I've learned from reading some books, some books and stuff. So I got my handy dandy whiteboard. And the other thing I did is I realized that the old marker that I had was so small and it wasn't, um, you couldn't read the, the board. So now I got one. Well, you, you'll be able to read this, okay? Now let me show you this real quick. Let me turn this around. So I've showed this little thing right here. So imagine that that is the earth. There's an electromagnetic earth, <laughs> electromagnetic energy around the earth. And what happens is the thoughts that we think that we think are our own are actually a part of the collective consciousness. So when we think thoughts like I'm worthy or I'm not worthy, we think they're ours, but there's so many other people that have also said that I'm not worthy or I am worthy, that it's, caught, that it's, it's almost like we're, we're not thinking thoughts, we're receiving thoughts, we're picking up on the frequency of thoughts. And a lot of what we think is actually comes from our past, it comes from our parents, our childhood, it comes from conditioning. Now, something that I learned is called cleaning. This is a fifth dimensional secret. It's, it's called cleaning. And what it has to do with is understanding that since our thoughts are literally things that we think, our thoughts are invisible to our eyes, but our thoughts, when we think them, have form. That's why you might notice, like, I, I always realize, like, in parts of my house, right, if I were to go into here, thoughts, I normally only really think thoughts in here, it's my business, or my, uh, of business. So I'm in here, I have, it's very easy for me to think more thoughts of business, certain parts of my house. Like um, when I'm in this area where I film all the time, I get like a, I, I can feel the thoughts almost of electromagnetic energy of, um, of passion. If I go into my meditation room, it's of high vibrational like meditation. So these thoughts are literally things. We might not see them, but they're, they're real in the sense of it's, vib it's vibration. Now, because we're thinking these electromagnetic thoughts, what happens is based on you know, no, we're not really thinking them, we're receiving them. What happens though is we are thinking these thoughts and if we, thinking about something else on the outside, have negative thoughts about it or negative emotion about it, that stays within our own energy field. Stays within our energy field. Now here's the thing. Cleaning is when you start to heal these imbalances in the energy field, and I'm gonna share with you a way of doing that, and what this works with as well, this has worked like, it's beyond what I could even imagine. I've seen so many people's life change because of something like this. So what, I'm, what I'm about to share with you. You can also heal within yourself that which you perceive in other people. And that adds to them being healed as well. Because these thoughts aren't really just ours. So you might, there might be something about someone else that you know where they have some faults, they have some negative emotion. And what you can do is you can heal your perception of what that is inside of them, and then they start to become healed. This is found out through a process called Honoponopono, which is a Hawaiian process that has to do with saying four simple words or four simple phrases, which is, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And what that does is that allows you the idea is as you heal, whatever imbalances are in them, if they are uh, very negative, what you do is you heal the negativity within yourself. If you are perceiving of it, what you do is you say, I'm sorry. You say, I'm sorry because you're sorry that you have allowed whatever reflection is in someone else, you to perceive of it because it means there's some level of negativity inside of you. You take responsibility for your perception of this in someone else. And then what you do is you say, please forgive me. 
You ask for forgiveness for having that within your energy field, for the perception that that person is even negative because that actually adds to them continuing to be negative in the future with that expectation. Thank you. Thank you for the awareness of what was in my energy field that I wasn't aware of. And then I love you. I love you. It's a high vibration, the highest vibrational frequency of, um, of this process. So saying those four words, I know it sounds a little bit like, why would you take responsibility for someone else's negativity? But if you're perceiving of it, it means that there's some level of negativity that's not integrated into you because you're even labeling it as negativity. And this was found out through the process of Honoponopono from uh, Dr. Len who had this experience where what he did is he tested it with 50 different patients. Listen to this, 50 different patients within this psych ward that were violent criminals. What he did is he just, he said, I don't need to meet them. I just want to look at their cases. What he did is he then looked at each of their cases, healed his idea of them and healed within himself, whatever that was reflecting back to him. And by doing that, they also healed. He never even spoke to them, which gets to the point of reality. What is reality? What is reality? Is it just a reflection? Did he heal his version of these people? And because of that, they then healed. You see? So reality that we think is so fixed within our own energy field, as we heal, these thoughts are everywhere. We are cleaning up not just ourself, but we're cleaning up our perception of other people, which then heals the world. So as we will all wake up right now, you may say, why didn't all of us hide? You know, a lot of us are waking up before other people. If you're watching my channel, you're probably somebody that's woke up, woke, woke up, woken up before a lot of other people in your family, even your friend group. And you may think that people think you're crazy or people think you're crazy because of that. Well, understand you just woke up first. When did it be convenient if we all woke up in the same families and we all just got along and we all just felt accepted? Well, we spread out for a reason. We all spread out because we wanted to be like the seeds that were, that were um, germinating and then we could influence all the seeds around us to also germinate. But if we were all in the same family, we'd be like, oh, we're just good. We're going to start a society over here or something like that. So. That's the fifth dimensional secret. I have one of the most powerful meditations that I've made is a Honoponopono meditation that if you listen to for 21 days, I think it'll change your life. It'll change your energy field, the frequency of it. The thoughts you consistently think are charging your energy field. And when you change that with the four statements of Honoponopono, it begins to change your life. So go ahead and listen to the, in the top of the description box. You'll see a meditation there. Let's do it for 21 days. I think it'll change your life if you do so. And the second secret, I have a couple of these I'll be sharing with you, has to do with understanding vibration in the form of something that I've um, studied quite a bit from the book called Power Versus Force. It has to do with muscle testing for energy vibration. There's a scale of consciousness that you've seen me share in a lot of videos. It goes from zero to a thousand. And there are different activities. There are different objects. There are different types of people that resonate at a certain frequency. You'll see at the bottom of that chart, I'm going to put the chart right here. You'll see shame, fear, guilt, anger, neutrality. Eventually you see reasoning of the intellect of the mind, love, joy, peace, enlightenment. These are all different vibrations. Now in the book, Power Versus Force, they calibrate the different vibrations, the different things also. Yoga will calibrate at a certain frequency. I don't remember what it is. Drinking calibrates at a certain frequency. I think it calibrates at 175. You have that of, um, of a different type of music that calibrates at different frequency. You have music like, uh, like classical music will resonate in the 400s many times. You'll have that of heavy metal, like rock music, which will, which will resonate much lower. You'll have uh, people that resonate at different frequencies as well. And right now on the planet, what's happening is this shift in consciousness is allowing us to go from a lower vibration to a higher vibration. And as we do that, we'll notice that one of the ways that we can transcend our consciousness is by changing our inner environment and our outer environment. So for example, if you're around a lot of people that bring your energy down, they may be trying to subconsciously, it's pulling you down into lower vibes. There may be very material, there may be friends that are very materialistic that think you should just not try to do all this self help stuff or all this spirituality stuff or whatever it is. And part of you is like, well, I want to raise my, my vibration. I want to feel better. I want to do all these things, but it's holding you down. 
So if you tailor your environment, the news resonates at a very low frequency. So when you perceive of the news, it's lowering your vibration. So when you're aware of these though, you can then more so navigate through your life because you could choose your environment more wisely. So these, there's books also that resonate. I know the power of now resonates at like 500. Autobiography of a yogi uh, resonates pretty high. So these are all different frequencies that as we perceive of begin to raise our vibration. So I believe that this shift in consciousness we're going through, we have the ability to feel a majority of the time like a seven or eight or nine out of 10. And if you're watching this video right now and you wanna make that shift to do a higher vibration state of consciousness, you'll see a link below to join the shift experience webinar where we do a live meditation and what we do is I show you S H I F T. I show you how to make the shift with your level of consciousness. This is the webinar for the shift experience and it's a training that will show you how to do that. So it'll be there as well. I'll make sure this comes out. This comes out, um, next week, but I'll make sure this video comes out to where you can then watch that webinar. But this shift in consciousness, it's happening right now. And it's a beautiful thing. And as time goes on, I think that more and more people will be kind of like popping like popcorn. And it'll be easier and easier. You might, you might feel kind of weird right now, kind of lonely, kind of like people don't get you. But as time goes on, it'll become easier. The last secret I want to talk about is something, a quote that I've been saying a lot. And it's the more we realize our life is a dream, the more dreamlike our life becomes. So I believe that if we just have fun in this reality, knowing that this is like a 3D avatar. 3D avatar in reality, going around doing things, identifying with what I do, with identifying with who I think I am, but it's still a form of illusion. Yes, if I were to step my toe right now, it would hurt. And you say, well, that, is that illusion? Aaron, doesn't hurt, it's just an illusion. The experience is still real, we feel the experience, but things are 99.9% .9 empty space and it's, we pick up on different frequencies in our reality depending on what we're tuned to. So when you realize that life is meant to be fun, life is more like a dream, your life becomes more dreamlike. So let go of the ego's necessity to understand how everything works. Which is ironic because you're watching a YouTube channel that very much focuses on how things work. But the idea is this awareness gets you to a certain point, but then at a certain point you just let it go. And you just be in the high vibe. Just like the vibrational uh, calibrations I was talking about, it works to a certain point because then if you're walking around always labeling things as a mentalization, like that resonates at 240, that resonates at 360, that resonates at 120, then you, you walk around just in this mental intellectual world rather than actually having fun and integrating. So the key to the fifth dimensional sequence is understanding that we're all connected, thoughts are literally things, you can clean your energy field within yourself, which will also then clean other people and clean the environments you're in. What you can begin to do is to focus more on you doing what you love, you being in your passion frequency, you also seeing how you can add value to other people. I think that as time goes on, being of service and adding value to other people will be something that never goes out of style, something that always adds value. And like I said, if you haven't joined the Shift Experience Live training, go ahead and click Top of the link below, it'll be in the description box. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification here so you can see the daily vids that I do. Other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.